Hello everybody, welcome back to another video with Lim Reviews. Now, Xiaomi just launched a couple of devices, some really, really cool devices, namely the Xiaomi 13 series. So just in case you haven't watched the launch yet, let me fill you in on a couple of really cool and interesting information. So for the Xiaomi 13 series, Xiaomi actually launched the basic 13 as well as the 13 Pro. It's an absolute beast. And that's not because the new devices now come with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. They both have up to 12 gigabytes of RAM and they both also have have up to 512 gigabytes of internal memory. So power-wise, I'm not going to talk too much about that. Basically, they have all the top-of-the-line Snapdragon processors and a lot of RAM and storage. But here's the interesting part, guys. In terms of the design, I personally like the new designs very, very much. I think the 13 Pro here looks very, very clean, very minimalist. And in fact, the camera is actually the most interesting part of this 13 Pro here. Now, both devices do come with that Leica branding on it. But let's focus a little bit more on the cameras of the 13 Pro because this is where it's going to really change the game. Now, the 13 Pro comes with three individual sensors. We do have the 50 megapixel main sensor. We also have a 50 megapixel ultra wide and a 50 megapixel telephoto lens. So very easy to remember, they're all 50 megapixels. Now, here's the big and most interesting part, and that is the 50 megapixel main sensor comes with a one inch size. So one inch sensor is not actually super brand new. We've seen it in a couple of phones now, but for Xiaomi to go with a mainstream phone and use a one inch sensor, I think it's really awesome. The next awesome part here is the fact that they are working with Leica and they have a floating lens within the sensor itself. And what this does is create really beautiful images, guys. So I saw a couple of you know sample photos taken by Xiaomi themselves of the 13 Pro and they took some really crazy good shots, guys. So just in terms of the coloring, you can see here that the colors are so rich. There's a lot of detail and there's crazy minimal amount of noise. Just looking at these sample photos from Xiaomi themselves, it really shows that the 13 Pro is almost like camera grade kind of level and I am actually super excited to get my hands on one so I can check them out. Apart from that, if you notice, they even showed a couple of really nice macro shots. Uh, the 13 Pro took some really excellent macro shots, guys. And again, the kind of feeling that I've, after I've seen all these pictures is just super excited, as you can hear from my voice right now. And that's because we have this really camera grade kind of sensor on a smartphone. Just take a look at the background blur that this 13 Pro is able to do. It's really, really crazy, guys. So yes, that's the main sensor and all that. I heard the ultra wide is also pretty good, but again, I'm looking forward to actually getting the unit myself so that I can test them out. But in a nutshell, these cameras on the 13 Pro is just really going to change the game. Now, apart from those really cool cameras, it also comes with a 4,800-ish battery, which supports 120-watt uh, fast charge. The good news is that it now comes with wireless charging. So those of you out there who really appreciate wireless charging, you'll be happy to see that wireless charging is on the 13 Pro. Apart from that, both devices do come with IP68, so you you can you know have a couple of splashes on the phone without having to get too worried. Uh, other than that, uh, the display, yes, I should also mention that we do have a curved display at the front. It is a 2K unit, but what Xiaomi is really emphasizing here is that not only is it an LTPO display, that means it can vary its refresh rate down to about one hertz when you are not using the display, basically to save some battery. But the cool thing here is that they have increased the brightness levels all the way up to 1,900 nits. That is crazy bright guys so never again will you have any issues looking at a Xiaomi device a display all right so that's basically all the cool stuff with the Xiaomi 13 Pro again very very excited to check it out in person I'll definitely be getting my own unit uh, meanwhile just to touch very quickly on the 13 the basic 13 version now the 13 version actually looks quite all right as well it comes with that vegan leather kind of texture at the back which is different from the 13 Pro I actually expected the 13 Pro to come with that you know vegan leather kind of thing because because usually the brands always put these kind of materials on the higher end models, but not this time around. So the 13, it does come with a 50 megapixel Sony sensor as well. This is not a one inch sensor. It's gonna be quite all right. I don't think it's gonna be that bad. It does come with that Leica support as well. So you can expect some pretty nice and cool looking colors. Apart from that, it comes with a 12 megapixel ultra wide and a 10 megapixel telephoto lens. So as you can see here, it's sort of watered down on the 13. But like I said earlier on in the video, you do get a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. So 
Basically, to sum it up real quick, I think if you are a you know, smartphone photography camera kind of enthusiast like myself, who gets very excited about you know, camera smartphone photography, I think you should definitely look forward to the Xiaomi 13 Pro. If you don't care too much about your camera but still want to take pretty good shots, but you still want that awesome power, well, you can go for the Xiaomi 13. Uh, in fact, the pricing was also released by Xiaomi and it's actually quite affordable as well, if I may say. So the 13 Pro starts from RMB 4999 and let me see, <laughs> the Xiaomi 13 starts from RMB 3999. Effectively, it's actually quite affordable compared to you know, more expensive counterparts out there. With that said, thank you for watching today's very quick recap cap sort of video definitely looking forward to get my hands on these devices you know let me know down in the comments which device are you excited for and if you're looking to get one yourself with that said thank you for watching and looking forward to see you guys in the next one now don't forget to sub to the channel as well thank you see you bye